Today we're testing the various earth blocks and earth bags that we made over the last two or three months. We're going to weigh each sample, do a visual inspection. For example, we'll, we'll test the hardness and look at it carefully. And also we're going to do a, a shear test. You see over here we have two blocks set 10 inches apart. I'll stand on top of the block or on top of the bag. Also I'm going to cut the bags open and then cut the sample in half so we can inspect the inside of it. And then we'll post the results on our first bag building blog. I have to preface this by saying that this is not a careful scientific experiment. It started out just as a, a fun thing to try. It was haphazardly done. Many of the samples were moved before they had dried. Many were left out in the rain. Two samples totally were destroyed, the ones with the ash. So it's unfortunate that this was never intended to be a careful experiment. So the test results are going to be you know, questionable at best. But still, I think we can, I think it's a worthwhile experiment and we can learn a little bit. So we'll just see how it goes. This bag I had high hopes for, but it was not made very carefully. You can see the cracks that were developed because the, the bag was not contained. It was just tamped and it kept expanding with, without anything restraining it. And it formed cracks. This is the bag with uh, road base with extra clay. So this is unfortunate because I had high hopes for this. But obviously if you have big cracks, it's not going to pass the shear test, I don't think. This one is the clay with rice holes. You can see it has a dull sound, has good insulation. But again, it has some bad cracks. If we did this again next time, I would constrain the ends so they can't expand and cause these cracks. In an earth bag wall, the bags are butted against each other where these samples were not. So this was a valuable lesson learned. This is good news. The road base with extra clay is very strong, even with those big cracks in it. Okay, this is surprising. Even the clay and rice holes are holding my weight. This one is not nearly as strong. You can see the corner broke away as I picked it up. But still it has pretty good shear value. This is good news because the clay and the Rysol block is passing the shear test. This is one of my favorite samples. It just has a real good look and feel. This is the vetiver clay with Rysols. It's one of the best blocks it passed the shear test. This is the adobe block. It's passed the shear test, even though there were some cracks formed in it when I was making it. Three. 
this is the, the bag with road base and extra clay. It looks almost like concrete, even though the ends were not constrained. It's a very solid mix. Looks very good. This looks better than what we were using, just entirely road base. The extra clay seems to make it stronger. This is the clay with extra rice hulls. This is good insulation, but yet it still has a good solid feel to it. This sample has clay and rice hulls, and you can st see it's still solid. So it has some insulation, it still looks good. This one here has more rice hulls. Wow, very good. No damage at all. It feels like a rock. No damage. This crack was was there when it was made. No damage to this one either. Oh. This was the road base with extra clay. It just busted apart. This is the road base with extra clay. Obviously it's grumbly.